with food allergies, so you have to think about food allergies. When we tend to think about it, you think of food allergies two different ways. There's the standard food allergies, the hives, the anaphylaxis that most people are all familiar with. Um, and those food allergies, people outgrow. So 80, 90%, depending on the food, like milk, egg, wheat, soy, they outgrow. Some foods like peanuts and tree nuts worth much less, so 10, 20% of those food allergies. That's for regular food allergies. For eosinophilic esophagitis, the information is much less known. Based on our experience and a few published papers, we think it's more like the Ig sort of the rare, the bad food allergies, the least likely to outgrow, maybe 10 to 20 percent, but it's much less common. And it seems to be similar to IgE-mated food allergies, sort of the hives, anaphylaxis type reactions. If you're a teenager or an adult, it's probably too late. You're probably fixed, and you're not going to outgrow it. So it's much more likely to outgrow it early. So that's why when the young kids, we tend to be much more aggressive in terms of treating with food. This way, we can hopefully those patients will outgrow and they may be able to make a difference in their disease.